my first son was born, uh, I named him Charles W. Fisher III, just anticipating how it would look on the bottom uh, of the almanac as mine does today. My name is Charles Worley Fisher Jr. and I am the great, 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 great grandson of John Gruber who started the Hagerstown Almanac back in 1797 along with his partner and future son-in-law Daniel May. John Gruber managed to publish well into his 80s, uh, retired and gave the responsibilities over to his wife uh, and then at, at his death I believe his daughters carried on the tradition well into almost the, 19th cent uh, the 20th century uh, as, uh, as the editor, uh, co-editors uh, of the Almanac going forward. Well, basically it started out as an all-German, and basically because most of the population in this area was of German descent, uh, and most of the church sermons were also done in German, so it was a very common thing to see publications uh, appear in German only. Uh, it wasn't until 18, I believe 1822, they decided to publish an English version and a German version. And then it wasn't until 18, 1918 when they discontinued publication of, 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 the, of the Almanac in German. I grew up with this. My grandmother did it for 38 years. Um, unfortunately, her husband, who had taken over the responsibilities, had passed on early on in, in life. And she took the helm and, and was responsible for adding 38 to those 148 years of women editing or publishing the Almanac. I, I have here the uh, forecast for today, which is November 1st, uh, 2012, and just to show how accurate uh, the almanac can be. Today I said showers with some snow north, and uh, it's certainly showery, and uh, we came through some wet snow uh, in Blue Ridge Summit this morning on the way here. Today was a good day. Today I will call myself 100%. I have been prognosticator for the Hagerstown Almanac uh, since uh, February of 1969, so that'll soon be 44 years. A, a short list of my duties, um, put together the uh, calendar. I have to do day-to-day -day forecasts for the entire lower 48 uh, and um, uh, in 12 regions that we've established across the lower 48. And uh, that, that takes a good, good amount of time uh, because um, I, I use my methods to, to draw weather maps, one for each lunar week. A lunar week is anywhere from six to nine days. Uh, and uh, so there are about 53 of those per year. And then I take those weather maps and flip through them almost like animation, one lunar week at a time. I, I feel I'm doing a valuable service. And, and even though some professional meteorologists have <clears throat> called me a quack and various other names, um, um, it's water off a duck's back. <laughs> uh, I'm Jerry Spessard, and I'm the business manager of the Hagerstown Town and Country Almanac. And I've been uh, doing this since 1984. So I published the uh, 1985 edition. And um, I'm sort of a quarterback. Uh, I handle advertising, I handle organizing printing, um, uh, accounts receivables, accounts payables, you know, generally anything that has to do with non-editorial and non-weather forecasting. My wife's family has been in the uh, Almanac business uh, since about 1905 or something of that nature, and it's just been handed down, and so my, uh, my father-in-law asked me to take this over in 1984 for the family, and I did, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, my name is Rick Roebuck and I am the president of Roebuck Printing. Um, we are a family owned and operated business. It's been in business since 1919. Uh, started by my great grandfather and grandfather uh, as a partnership back then. We've been working with uh, the Almanac and Jerry for the better part of 20 years. Um, it's been a great relationship. He's a wonderful guy to work with um, and we always enjoy doing it because it's a, a publication that we actually get to look at and, and read uh, with interest. This has really been Gruber's biggest contribution in the printing industry and to have it emanate or start in Hagerstown is a real distinction, I think, for the town of Hagerstown and for the state of Maryland. The famous Hagerstown and Country Almanac always has an annual woolly bear contest. 
where they measure the length of the bands of the woolly bear caterpillar. And this caterpillar's bands are supposed to be able to somehow tell how severe the winter is going to be. Well, we have a minor league baseball team, and for scores of years, the mascot of our minor league team, the Hagerstown Suns, is the woolly bee, the woolly bear caterpillar, in honor of the Hagerstown Almanac. Hi, Dylan. This is Jerry Spesser with the Hagerstown Town and Country Almanac. And calling to let you know you're the winner of the uh, biggest and wooliest. And uh, so you've won the Woolly Bear Contest. It is very important to me. I think every day about how we have carried on this tradition for 217 years, managed to stay in business for 217 years, and the fact that we're still um, published and really kind of put together by the descendants of the original founder, John Gruber, um, that gives me an incredible sense of pride. Uh, I'm part of American history, in effect.